God. <laughs> That's my voice. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if my camera's in my um, microphone. Sorry. Right. Hi. Good morning. Morning, morning, morning. Um, I've got an owl up on my holding page because it wouldn't let me change the picture. <clears throat> I don't know why. And, oh, I haven't had to watch a um, advert this morning. Maybe um, my camera's in like a weird place. Maybe um, it's... <laughs> That's not better. You can see me now. I don't want to see me. Oh, why does everything move? You set it all up and then it moves. There we go. It's a bit better. <laughs> um, yeah, it wouldn't let me change it. Hi, Anne-Marie. Hi, Mindy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You can, you can see my pyjamas then. <laughs> oh, yeah, I paint in my pyjamas in the morning. Um, this is my old sketchbook. You can probably these are all ones I've done live on the YouTube somewhere, sometime or other. Um, well, most of them are anyway. So I'm just flicking through this. Um, I'm going to paint crow this morning, but I did do some crows um, a while back. So Christmas. <laughs> I'm sure it was in this one. Maybe it's not in this one. Oh, which one did I pick up? picked up the wrong book. Hang on. You can look at my lovely um, birds with their eyes. Oh, I've lost them now. You can look at the squirrels for a second. I did have the book. Oh, it's not this one either. God damn it. I don't, well, I did have some. There we go. <laughs> this one. I've got so many books. But, um, yeah, this was done alive. Painting. I'll get there in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about the clonking. I'm just putting things out of the way. Um, yeah, so I did this live. This live? Yeah. So I'm going to do something similar. His beak, beak's a bit big, but I don't know. I'm going to do something similar. But I'm going to do it like a, a proper painting on proper paper instead of in my sketchbook. Let's give this a go, shall we? Um, this paper is... Let me get the thing. It's fallen out the book. There's two pieces stuck together here, but um, it's this paper, Saunders Waterford, £140. Um, cold pressed. There we go. So that's that one. And I've got it. I'll be using my um, Kolonsky sable brush from the Sea Whites of Brighton. I don't know. I can't see if that's, um, what do you call it, focusing or not. But there we go, that one. And um, this is, this is my palette. <laughs> Pretty heavy. I don't know, you can see the corner of it anyway, but I'll probably be using mostly Minglo Amethyst Genuine, and I've got some Luna Black over here, and then I'll probably put in some Fairlow Turquoise as well because they have that sort of iridescence in their feathers. I want to capture that bit. I'll probably use a bit of salt and something, but I'll see how I go. I'm not going to, um, <laughs> I say this, I'm not going to GNU. Hi lollipop strawberry. <laughs> I was like, my sister's got, I call my sister Lolly, my big sister, because she's her name's Lol Lorraine, so she was called Lor Lolly. <laughs> so you always remind me of my sister. So I'm gonna start off by just putting in an eye. I'm just using Luna Black and I'm just using a um a, a rigger, so I wanted a smaller brush because this doesn't go into a point really. Um, yeah, I'll lick the brush. <laughs> I've got a bit of tissue here to block because I like blotting things. And I'm going to add a little bit of um, quinacodone gold. <laughs> I could never say it into his eye because um, I don't want it to be flat black. Something right. So I've got his eye. <laughs> and then um, I'm just going to let that smoosh around a bit. I'm going to use some Minglo. I know it's purpley colour. 
and then I've got fluff in it. Get out. Let's get like fluffs. <laughs> I'm just gonna start building up the shape of his face a bit if I can. And I'm using Moon Glow and Luna Black, so it's gonna be really nice and like granularly and nice. <clears throat> So if I keep losing my voice, I don't know what's wrong with me, it's not i got a husky voice going on. I'm just trying to get the shape of his. I need to drop a bit more black in his eye. Because I'm going to lose it. It's, it looks a bit weird at the minute. But I'm just like, want to get the shape of his beacon without getting it too big. Because before I did it far too big. And, um, don't know. They do have quite big beaks, crows. I caught, well, it was a young crow. I don't know what Cyril was doing. He, he caught it. Oh, so naughty. And it was quite, it was huge. And this, I had to pick it up. I had to get some gloves on. Um, I think it hurt, just hurt its wing. And um, this was last year sometime. And I didn't realise like how big they actually are. Like even if it was a baby, its claws were huge. <laughs> they are very wise birds, aren't they? Anyway. I'm trying to do this really loose. Okay, so it might just look a bit weird for a minute whilst I'm just trying to get the proportions <laughs> right. I just to get his head, head in and his beak and then I'm away. I'll be fine, won't it? You can see, can not you? Yeah. It's a bit far away, but <laughs> that's my zoom in a minute. <laughs> so I don't know if I've got that right or not, but um, let's drop a bit of water in and I can always make it a little bit bigger. And I haven't got his pointy beak right, so it comes around not something like that. Let's do this. So that's his beak bit. And then he's got feathers back here. I'm just going to drop in some water and sort of, because I don't want it to dry. I want it to be a bit like loose. Right. <laughs> and he's got little feathers there. And then his neck comes there. And then his body comes around. It's a bit. Right. Um, I've got a picture from Pixabay, it's sort of up in front of me, so um, there's, there's lots of um, pictures of anything you want and it's all free and you can copy them, so um, you just have to reference the, um, oh, the person, I'm not sure who it is, but I'll try and remember to write it in the description and a link to the picture. So I'm just coming around with some wet water wet water of course it's water just wetting the page and you can see it's a bit dark but I want to make sure I can get all the um, bird in and try and get his proportions right and then put this big feet in which is here there's one here and then the other one sort of there Can sort of see. Oh, I've given him too many toes. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna drop in a little bit of that um, phalo turquoise. I said a little bit. That's quite a lot, and not really. <laughs> Just to try and get a bit of the iridescence on his wings and that. And then I'm using some Amethyst Genuine as well. Not quite long tail feathers. I've got um, loads of jackdaws, men. <laughs> they're, they're fabulous little things. Loads of them. They like take over. They nest in my chimneys. <laughs> They're great birds. I love watching them. The things they get up to, and they're quite in, like really intelligent. 
trying to the funny thing is I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here like, <laughs> if you get like the animal's eyes and like the main features right you can't really go wrong with the rest <coughs> she says <laughs> I do often put it up like that, but when um, I do when I'm normally painting, but when I'm painting on, um, um, Amory's just asked about um, if I angle the board and you should angle it to get the right perspective. Yeah, I do. I lift it up and often I, if I'm painting properly, I have it up at an angle, but that means you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> So I have it flat usually for when I'm um, doing demos, like tutorials and things, so you cannot see. If I have if I have the board at an angle, I do tell you. <laughs> but I always like lift the paper up. That's why I don't all often stick things down to a a thingy board. And if I do stick things down to a board, it's a board that I can move around. Yeah, because if it's at that angle, you you can't really see properly. <laughs> what should we have him sitting on? I don't know. Um, something. <laughs> Let's use some um, this queen queen gold. I'm just going to put this here, so it looks like he's actually got his feet on something and not floating in the air. I'm just gonna like tilt the paper. <laughs> so it runs. Don't want to careful without the other bit running. I'm just gonna put a bit of quin in his wings. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just looking. I've just got messages. Need to look. <laughs> This is um, Moon Glow. I always like splash. <laughs> Let's add to the splashiness, shall we? I'm going to start adding dark. It's um, the angles like whatever you feel comfortable with, um, Marie. It doesn't. You can you can paint with the paper flat. You can paint it with a, a slight angle. You can do it like 45 degrees, which is a bit extreme. <laughs> but it's just do whatever you're happy with. There's no, well, there probably, someone will probably say, oh, there, you should do this and you should do that. I'm, I'm never like one with that has to, um, that says, oh, you've got to do this and you've got to do that and this, that rule and this rule because everybody's different and whatever works for you is the best thing to do. Like sometimes I hate having the board tilted and I'd rather work flat. It's like... Um, people saying you should work on an easel and that if you're doing other painting and that but um I often like to um stand up and paint which is something I like to do and you can like get your whole body <laughs> into a painting I think I'm just dropping in colors at the minute and I might when it's sort of drying I get a bit more detail I'm going to put a bit of salt on his belly so see my head it's not very good is it <laughs> it's me leaning into the painting i'm just going to drop in some darks this isn't going to dry quick enough on that other paper it dries quicker this paper like takes forever to dry <laughs> It's a good thing and also it's a bad thing because I'm impatient 
and I like things to be like dry straight away <laughs> so it's not always a good thing for me and then I start fiddling around and mess things up <laughs> uh, Mr Blotting won't be making an appearance on this because this paper doesn't like to be blotted um, I often use like blotting paper to blot like lift the colour off but this paper I think I did a little demonstration about the blottingness of this paper it doesn't blot so um, I didn't <laughs> I'm not using any see I want this to dry now and then then I can come in and add like the, a few feathery details and finish his eye and that but um, it's not going to dry and it's not that warm here at the minute so that's like like the base coat of the I'll put a few his feathers are quite ruffly in this picture don't want to get too detail-y <laughs> I'm going to leave that one and I'm going to do something else whilst that dries because I'm going to spoil it otherwise it's going to like mess up. It's going to mess it, mess it up. So oh, I might do something in my book whilst that dries. I, I doubt it's going to dry for the um, whole thing <laughs> for me to finish. Um, let's do something in here. This is... Um, this is my um, other book and these are all ones that I've done live I think yeah I just flipped through this a bit I think this was last year <laughs> yeah walk away I've walked away man <laughs> so I like that like that so I might paint another chrome in my um, book that's really bright and nice so you probably remember some of these. If you want to see me painting these, any of these, that go back through all my lives. I'm there. I've got like over 600 videos <laughs> of me painting live and things. I forget what's in here. I've written, yeah, this was September. And the squirrel. And there's the crow. So this was last, before Christmas last year. I was trying to fill this book up, wasn't I? That was Halloween. <laughs> so I've got a few Halloween things. There's a cat with just eyes, not a face. <laughs> Pumpkins. I think that's where I sort of left this book. So I've still got a few more things to uh, fill up. Uh, uh, thank you, Anne Marie. I might paint some flowers now. Actually, I haven't painted flowers for a while. I've been busy painting animals and birds and weird things and stuff. <laughs> What shall I paint? Uh, I haven't got anything. I, I have been painting. Yeah, I have been painting flowers because I've been painting tulips and daffodils, but um, I haven't been doing my lives. The white orchid with the back background. Which one was that? I can't think. Black background. <laughs> They were um, an enemies, um, Japanese and enemies. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, what should I paint? Oh, I don't know what to paint now. I'm gonna have to like quickly look. A squirrel. Oh, I can't paint squirrels. I've done those the other day. <laughs> I can copy the ones I've done because. Um, do you want to see <laughs> paint the squirrel? Squirrels. These ones. I liked painting those. So, okay, I'm going to paint the squirrel, this little red squirrel. I'm going to do... <laughs> okay, I'll paint a little squirrel for you, or try to, because I'm only going to copy what I've painted before, so... Um, <laughs> I'm going to try... Oh no, that's not in the right place. See, as <laughs> This is Quin, 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 gold so I'm just getting the shape of the little red squirrel it's going to be a red squirrel I'm going to get his face in I don't know 
and then I've got Quinn burnt orange as well just to swish it up a bit because they're sort of orangey brown come on get out um doesn't look like a squirrel does it I've just dropped in a bit of thingy Can I talk, uh, Lollipop's asking, can I talk about tint, shade, colour and I, to be perfectly honest, I don't worry about that. <laughs> and I get well, well confused. It's, I think it's my like dyslexic side of me. I, I just like shade, tone. Blah, blah, blah. It's just like either darker or lighter to me. And warm and cold colours just completely throw me because what some people think is warm colors i think they're cold and vice versa and i'm not very good at things like that <laughs> i probably just know in instinctively but i don't ever like think about it it's um this is a squirrel face by the way <laughs> black squirrel yeah there was like there was supposed to be one in because we have gray squirrels here more than anything they were supposed to be um down Sussex where I used to live there was supposed to be um, a black squirrel there was this little park that um, had squirrels called Hotham Park in um, I'm just gonna give him a little nose so you sort of know where I am because um, <laughs> you can't see yeah, mainly, yeah, the, the Hotham Park it was called. And there was like a little squirrels and there was a, like a black squirrel. We have loads of grey squirrels. Yeah, mainly, I think if you sort of know, if you like been painting a lot of times, so maybe it does come, come naturally. Hi, Charlie. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> um, Colour. Uh, where talking about colour um when I was at school we had to paint the colour wheel all the time and I spent ages just painting everything like purple and yellow and we were told how to like use um colours and things so I think it's just like I suppose I probably do know loads about colour and tone and then I just do it without thinking but I don't think I know <laughs> <laughs> not very helpful is it um when sometimes i just think you should just paint and just um don't worry about things like that just enjoy the process and um that's what i do i don't when i'm painting i don't necessarily think oh that's i think about dark and light is that shade and <laughs> darks and lights all the time and um but i don't think about other things <coughs> is that really bad <laughs> see like i know like down here he's gonna have to have a darker tummy so i'll just do things darker <coughs> it's quite simple i think people like to overcomplicate things and um and the other day, I was, I was, I don't know where it was, I've talked about this before. Um, people were talking about fugitive colours and how um, you shouldn't use certain colours because they're not light fast and things like that. And I was thinking, God, if you, if you have to like <laughs> think of all that stuff, you'd never paint, would you? <laughs> You're just like some people just like think too much and if I'm painting just like for fun and in my book and just practicing and doing this I'm not selling it and I don't it doesn't really bother me and then it's like when I use bleach and that people say oh doesn't it mess up the it doesn't <laughs> oh about your brush you're gonna mess your brush up you're gonna do this you're gonna do that. I'm just like oh no it's fine <laughs> and if it messes up it messes up but it, I've never it's never sort of messed up anything when I'm using stuff. Oh, that's good, Charlie. I'm glad you're 
feeling stronger and I'm sending love back to you Charlie and I hope you're like still feeling stronger every every day you're here it's a good thing <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. <laughs> well, I've just put like loads of um, what do you call it, quin gold on his tail because I thought he'd look like a nice tail. He's catching the light. To look like a squirrel. <laughs> I'm just doing this whilst I'm supposed to be painting my crow, but it's taking me a long time to dry. <laughs> yeah, Charlie, I love your attitude. <laughs> You're so positive about everything. I'm just giving a really fluffy tail. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I suppose I should give him an eye. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> I've dropped in that, um, this is that maroon, which I really like by Mission. Mission, is it? Yeah, Mission colours. So I'm going to give him a really red <laughs> tail. I'm just give him around, around his face. Because he is a red squirrel after all, and he? so he needs a bit of reddy brown in him. <laughs> That's good, Amory. You did just learning. I always learn things, and I've been painting for so long. It's just like I'm constantly learning stuff. I don't think you ever stop learning, especially if you're quite inquisitive about things. So this is a darker tone, <laughs> darker tone of that brown. I've just added a bit of lunar black in it, really. So I do know about tone and colour. I'm just like, <coughs> yeah, I don't think about it. And he needs an eye. <laughs> And you have to give him some whiskers and sort sort his nose out. It's like he's got a little smile. You have to make animals smile. And then his little eye comes here. It's still a bit wet. But I think I can put it in. If I give him a biggish eye then he looks, he's gonna look cute. <laughs> he looks a bit I don't know, he looks a bit strange. It's not as nice as that. It's because it's wet. It's too wet. And my lunar black's really wet. Let's do that. Let's blot it. It's better. Might come over with a little bit of white to do some highlights. <laughs> he looks weird. I'm going to give him a pink nose. Oh, that's not pink. <laughs> He's got like feet like this. That's a weird squirrel. I was trying to do this one. He, uh, that was so cute, that one. <laughs> How he came out to do it. Oh, Charlie, that, that, that's frightening, isn't that? I'm very glad she called the ambulance. <laughs> and I'm glad she insisted. <laughs> oh dear, I've got like, I've lost his like little face. That should be tail there. That's better. 
<laughs> now he's got a, a lump on the side of his face. Oh. I can hear a, a uh, robin singing in the garden. Let's just stick a bit of that in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is my weird squirrel. <laughs> I have fin I have done a crow if anyone's just arrived. <laughs> I just wanted to paint something whilst I was waiting for the thing and this is like a big fail and now I've stuck black in his ears and that looks awful. <laughs> Uh, my car is still really wet, look. <laughs> and I wanted it to, um, I'll have to, I'm just going to put a bit more salt on him because I want it more salty. I'll have to show you that, my crow on Monday. Monday, I've done one not here one day, next Wednesday. <laughs> or look out for it. Let's put some highlights in this squirrel's eye. And hopefully... He will. He will um, look more like a. That's not his eye. That's his um, nose, which is, which is okay. Now it's all splodging everywhere because I'm too impatient. Mm -mm. There you go. Swiffy nose. You know when you paint something and you don't like it, but here you go, this is like, we painted the squirrel and I don't like him. <laughs> and now I'm fiddling around, he's even like, his back leg's gone into just one lump. So I haven't painted it in my sketchbook for ages and um, it's throwing me because the paper's weird because it's not watercolour paper. <laughs> He's a weird looking squirrel. He's like got a problem with his nose. <laughs> Maybe if I gave him some whiskers. There we go. You can't see them on that side. Give him some eyelashes. <laughs> and they have tufty ears, don't they, red squirrel? So there we go. He looks more like a squirrel now. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, my crow is drying before it add the next layer, so that's going to have to dry completely, otherwise I'm going to mess it, mess him up. And my squirrel is just happy to be here, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's okay. And, and these are better squirrels that I've done. I did do another squirrel in this book. Where is it? Must be with my autumn paint. There we go. That was a weird looking squirrel too. <laughs> anyway I'm going to leave it there before I paint another awful painting <laughs> uh, it's so nice to see you Charlie I'm glad you're happy and getting stronger it's a good thing and um, I will see you live on um, live <laughs> I'll see you live on Wednesday morning and I will have another watercolour chat Wednesday and new Patreon classes I might put one up this weekend actually because um, I didn't like my sheep <laughs> and um, what was I going to say yeah tonight uh, is it tonight no Monday Monday is a Mixy B and I have a tutorial up a watercolour one so um, if you haven't joined my other channel with my other paintings, I've got like vlogs on there and stuff which I'm doing. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Please give me a thumbs up for my weird looking squirrel and my crow that I have not finished because it's really wet. So um, <laughs> thank you again and I will see you on live on Wednesday. Bye. I've got to walk over there to turn this off. So, yeah, bye. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Bye.